This is my 1987 BMW K75 that I've had since the year 2000. And last year I stripped it all down, redid the wheels, redid the frame, tidied the engine up and decided I would convert it into a cafe racer. Um, there's not really much to doing that to be honest. I've dropped um, some new handlebars on it. These are Magura drops that used to be on an old RD250. There's the brand name. Um, my bike, I know it reads 16,000. 900 it's actually done another 65,000 on top of that and I changed the clocks and I got some Ultima clocks I got a good deal with them which means that I ended up with a digital clock which the original bike didn't have I've got some nice little uh, rear view mirrors realized straight away I couldn't do without rear view mirrors polished it all up it's looking really shiny at the moment but that's the original finish um, the paint's beginning to wear off in places this has had a lot of hard use this bike, it used to be my everyday bike so it went out every day regardless unless it was actually frozen solid or it was snowing. Small changes, I've um, bought in a second seat and I've re-sculpted it just to make it lower. Just like the idea of it, recovered it with a special textured vinyl. I put in the BMW badges instead of the cape um, style knee pads that it had on it. Um, I had quite a spectacular off in the ice and I smashed the engine mount when they came they were two different colours so I put them both through the electroplaters and had them anodized because they're cast components they come out grey so I kind of like that 50 shades of grey I've taken off the side panels and put on these paracord panels these were made by my daughter who was nine at the time when she did that she was incredibly talented she also made me a headlamp cover which I really like and gives that kind of finish also means I drive with the main beam on all the time I made a little fly shield out of an aluminium oval that I bought off of eBay for about 14 quid cut it down um, I did that because I wanted to hide the square clocks and also I wasn't going to give up the clocks because they're far too good and expensive to take off the bike. So it's sitting there running, running quite high at the moment. Um, the battery's flat so I'm running it to bring the battery back up. It's got a second exhaust on it, didn't really need to change the first one but I fancied having a shinier one. And um, that about finishes the bike off. So, these bikes are rated to do 120. In the old days, uh, when I was making progress and I had a digital recorder on it, it used to get up to 117 and that was about as much as I wanted to do on it. Today, having converted into Cafe Racer, you tend to ride it much slower. So it pops up to reading 80 really quick. Um, probably really only doing 70 and we'll easily get up to 100, but of course you can't do that on British roads. I've kept the fairing on, and I've actually doubled up the screen, and then there's another flight screen behind that, so I can take the fairing off and get that kind of continental look. I don't really like it, but I'll um, take it off just to demonstrate. There's a the little radiator fairing. To say I've doubled it up. This is a new screen and the old screen still in the back of it and then it gives your bike a different look. So I don't particularly like this strip back look. It's very popular on the continent. Then it leaves the radiator exposed so I made another screen just in case I did decide to take it out like this. It's just made out of EML, the stuff that you clad walls with for plastering. Here's a big smoke in now, so I'm going to have to turn it off. Marvellous. That's a second radiator that I've put on there and it's now bleeding. Oh, for goodness sake. Let's see what's wrong with that. Well, that hasn't worked out well for me. 
that's a replacement radiator that's done less than 50 miles, maybe 100 miles max. Oh dear, stroll on it. Eh?